Well, what better way to start off a speech than by telling you what my biggest fear is, and that is public speaking. <laughs> it's kind of funny how I can play softball in front of 10,000 fans, uh, but just the thought of speaking in front of 200 people and I start shaking. Uh, I would almost rather lose a championship game than be standing where I am right now. <laughs> but as I'm sure you know, part of growing as a person is facing your fears, so please bear with me. <clears throat> tell you a little bit more about me. I was born and raised in Salem, Oregon. I went to the University of Oregon where I graduated, graduated in 2014 with a degree in Communication Disorders and Sciences, which unfortunately for y'all didn't have much to do with public speaking. <coughs> While I was there, I was blessed to have a hand in helping Oregon win back-to-back -back Pac-12 championships, two World Series appearances, and was fortunate enough to be first team All-American and academic All-American. In April of my senior year, I was relieved to find out my softball career was not over yet. I was drafted to the USSA Florida Pride in the National Pro Fast Pitch League, which is the same team that the great Mike, coach, uh, Mike Davenport coaches in the summertime. Shout out. <laughs> I currently play outfield for the Pennsylvania Rebellion and coach during the school year at Montevallo. Growing up, like probably a lot of you, I was always the best on my softball team. <clears throat> I didn't have to try very hard because of my God-given talent. My freshman year at Oregon was quite the wake-up call, though, when we had 6 a.m. workouts five days a week, and the competition was much tougher. After having a good freshman season, I decided to read the book Zero Regrets by Apollo Ono. For those of you that don't know him, he is an Olympic champion speed skater who holds the record for most medals won by U.S. Winter Olympian. Ono writes, I didn't ever want to be complacent. I didn't want to think back about my day and think, yes, Apollo, that was good enough. So this is what I would say to myself when I would lie down in bed at night. Zero regrets. I would think about it, and I would even say it out loud to myself. <clears throat> this is what I would say to myself when I was hammering out miles on the treadmill. No regrets. Sometimes inside my head, sometimes out loud. This is what I would say when I was in the weight room. Absolutely zero regrets. After reading this book, as well as my best friend becoming medically disqualified from our softball team due to a back injury, I realized I had completely taken for granted my softball career. For 13 years, I simply coasted and took advantage of the fact that I was naturally athletic. I decided to change my mentality to Apollo Onos. Had zero regrets. I didn't want to look back on my career from that point forward and wonder how good could I have gotten had I not cheated that rep cut that corner, but instead be a leader to all of my teammates and how a champion prepares and plays for the game, plays the game. <clears throat> my friend's injury really opened my eyes to how my softball career could be over in the blink of an eye. I began to have the mindset that every day that I was able to work out at 6 a.m. to run a conditioning test, lace up my cleats, tear up my leg sliding, to win or to lose with Oregon across my chest was an absolute gift. The catch is that gift lasts for four years. I can tell you right now that the feeling when you walk off that field with your team's jersey on for the very last time is indescribable. You will wish you could go back to those long bus rides next to your favorite teammates, the team retreats, locker room dance-offs, team meals, endless conditioning, getting home at 2 a.m. Sunday from a weekend of games, and your coach pushing you past what you thought your limits were. I will tell you, just like I tell my players, you will miss it. So relish in every, mo every minute you have left, because once it's over, you can never get it back. By being in the moment and making the most of the time you do have, there could be a chance for you to continue your softball career after college. The Pro League currently has 29 players who played at a mid-major Division I college one who played Division III, and the new team out of Houston just signed one from an NAIA and a Division II player. Some of you may know her, Renee Irwin from, the West, Te from West Texas a and They have open tryouts every year for the NPF. And after seeing just about all of you play, I can honestly say some of you have the potential to play in the Pro League. Something else I learned while I was at Oregon was the need to be selfless. Your actions and decisions, as well as the way you treat others, have a lasting effect on those around you. Coach White at Oregon told us a story about how he knows an owner of a huge company 
who has an interesting way of interviewing people for job openings. He starts out by meeting the candidate in a separate building from where the actual meeting will be held. Prior to the meeting, he purposely places a piece of garbage on the walk from building one to building two. If, along the way, the candidate picks up the piece of garbage and throws it in the trash sitting right next to it, then he continues the interview process in building two. If they walk past it, he thanks them when they reach building two and says that he doesn't think it's a good fit. This is a perfect example of the need to be selfless and simply do the right thing in everything that you do. If I could give you all one piece of advice, it would be like Apollo Ono says, Train, play, and live so you have zero regrets, and never have to wonder, what if? All in all, just be that player who your teammates and coaches will look back on and say, wow, that kid was relentless. Relentless in her work ethic, her commitment, her kindness, her selflessness, her heart. That is your legacy. That is what you can leave behind to the next generation of lady statesmen, Nighthawks, Jaguars, Cougars, Pirates, Blazers, Chargers, and Lions. Thank you, and good luck this weekend.